Every individual has a deep longing to know what the purpose of their lives are and what they were meant to be. Many people who have come to the pinnacle of success and achievement finally have declared that these accolades mean nothing because they often find that there is no purpose. So the question we ask today is, what is my purpose? The Bible says we were created for good works. Scripture highlights in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Psalm 57 verse 2, I cry out to the God Most High, to God who fulfills His purpose for me. Something that scripture establishes is that God is the one who births and fulfills our every purpose. The purpose of our lives can be considered in two ways or can be fulfilled in two ways. The general purpose. The general purpose is for all of mankind to know and enjoy the Creator. He chose to create us so that we could enjoy friendship with Him. There are many examples in the Bible that show this. Examples of Moses, Noah, Abraham, David, who walked with God and followed Him. Now, is there a purpose greater than to enjoy and commune with the God of our universe? We were called to do likewise, to enjoy Him and to be in fellowship with Him. The next is the specific and the individual purpose that each one of us has for our lives. Today's scripture says that each of us are crafted by God, just as the skilled craftsman crafts different articles that has a specific purpose and design, and it is unique to fulfill a specific purpose. So what do we mean by the purpose of life? Purpose is what gives us direction and meaning to our lives. So we know that we are not accidents or a product of chance or a mistake, but we are his workmanship, meaning we are a masterpiece, which is a work of outstanding skill that carries his purposes. So God calls you and me to a purpose, to do good works that is tailor-made for each one of us. And he gives us in such a way that we can accomplish that specific purpose. So let's look at certain keys in discovering the purpose. The first one is by building a personal relationship with Jesus. When we walk with him, we know what he has ordained for us. He's like the craftsman. He knows the exact purpose he has for each of his design. So to build a relationship with him helps us to see what our purposes are. The second way is by digging into God's word because the psalmist says that his word illumines our path. It shows us where we have to go, what we have to do. The third comes from direction from the Spirit as we meditate and believe in each of the promises that God gives us in his word. And lastly, God gives us his gifts, his strength, his talents to use for his glory and his grand master plan. Finding your purpose and calling is not about you. It is about discovering the good works that God has called us to do so that we can use it to bless and minister those around. Shall we pray? Father God, we thank you for the purposes for which you have called us for. Thank you because we were created to do good works. We pray that even as we build our relationship with you, you will keep our eyes and our ears focused on you so that we will know our purposes. You will help us to learn from your word how we need to do things for your glory. Thank you for the gifts and talents and strengths you have given us that we can use for your purposes. Enable us by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.